Hello and good day everyone. Welcome to my channel Fixing Knowledge. And today we are talking about top 35 interview questions with relevant answers on Microsoft Power BI. Let's begin. What is Power BI and how does it differ from Excel? Power BI is a business analytics tool developed by Microsoft to provide interactive visualizations and business intelligence capabilities. It differs from Excel, wherein it is more powerful for large data sets, supports real-time data updates, and has more advanced visualization options. What is Power BI Desktop and how is it used? Power BI Desktop is a free application that allows the users to create reports and data models locally on their desktop before publishing them to the Power BI service. It provides a user-friendly interface for data visualization and report creation. Explain DAX in Power BI. Data analysis expression, also known as DAX, is a formula language used in Power BI for creating calculated columns and measures to perform data analysis and manipulation. It is similar to Excel formulas, but specially designed for data analysis task. What are some common DAX functions used in Power BI? Common DAX function includes sum, average, calculate, filter, related, etc. These functions are used to create calculated columns and measures in Power BI. What are the different types of visualizations available in Power BI? Power BI offers various types of visualizations such as bar charts, line charts, pie charts, scatter plots, maps, tables, matrices, KPIs, gauge charts, and more. These help users to represent the data in visually appealing and meaningful way. What is Power Query in Power BI and how is it used? Power Query is a data transformational tool in Power BI used for data preparation and shaping. It allows users to connect to various data sources, clean and transform the data and load it into Power BI for analysis. What are the advantages of using Power BI over traditional reporting tools. Some advantages of Power BI over traditional reporting tools include real-time data visualization, interactive dashboards, easy integration with various data sources, seamless collaboration and sharing capabilities, and scalability for handling large data sets. What are the main components of Power BI? The main components of Power BI include Power Query used for data connectivity and transformation, Power Pivot used for data modeling and calculations, Power View used for interactive data visualization, Power Map used for geographical data visualization, and Power Q&A used for natural language querying. What is the difference between Power BI Desktop and Power BI Service? Power BI Desktop is a free application for creating reports and dashboards on the local machine. Power BI Service is a cloud-based service for sharing, collaborating and distributing reports to the users. What is the difference between Power BI Report Server and Power BI Service? Power BI Report Server is an on-premises report server that allows the users to host and manage the Power BI reports locally within the organization. Power BI Service is a cloud-based service provided by Microsoft for sharing and collaborating on Power BI reports. 
how can you create a calculated table in power bi and when would you use it a calculated table in power bi is created using dax expressions to generate a new table based on existing data it can be used to create lookup tables hierarchies or summary tables that aid in analysis and visualization Can you explain the concept of Power BI Gateway and its types? Power BI Gateway is used to enable access on on-premises data sources from Power BI service. There are two types of gateways. First, on-premises data gateway. It is used for scheduling the data refresh and querying the data from on-premises data sources. second one personal gateway it is used for connecting the power bi service to on premises data sources in a user's own environment when is power bi gateway used power bi gateway acts as a bridge between on premises data sources and the power bi service it is used to refresh data sets that are sourced from on premises data sources ensuring that the data is up to date in the power bi reports what is the role of power query editor in the data preparation process power query editor is used to transform and clean the data before loading it into the power bi model it allows the users to perform task such as filtering splitting columns merging data and applying the transformations to shape the data for analysis how can you schedule data refresh in power bi service data refresh in power bi service can be scheduled using the option scheduled refresh in the data set settings you can set a refresh frequency and configure a connection to the data source for regular updates how do you create relationships between tables in power bi relationships between tables in power bi are established by connecting related columns from different tables this helps in creating meaningful visualizations and performing cross table analysis how would you optimize a power bi report for performance to optimize a power bi report you can minimize the number of visuals use summarize tables when possible remove unnecessary columns and apply the filters to limit the amount of data loaded explain the difference between direct query and import data connection modes in power bi direct query connects the power bi directly to the data source to retrieve the data in real time import data loads the data into the power bi model for faster analysis but may not reflect the most up to date data explain the difference between a slicer and a filter in power bi a slicer is a visual element that allows users to select one or more values from a list which filters the data displayed in other visuals filters on the other hand are applied directly to the visuals or specific fields to narrow down the data shown explain the difference between calculated columns and calculated measures in power bi calculated columns are computed at the row level and stored in the underlying data model while calculated measures are computed at the aggregate level and used for summarizing the data in visualizations Additionally a calculated column is a new column created in a table based on a formula that applies to each row whereas a measure is a calculation that applies to an entire data set such as a sum or an average What is the difference between Power BI Pro and Power BI Premium version 
Power BI Pro is a user-based license that allows individual users to create and share the reports. Power BI Premium is a capacity-based license that provides dedicated resources for a larger developments and advanced features. Can you explain the concept of relationships in Power BI and how they are used in data modeling? Relationships in Power BI define how different tables are related to each other based on common fields. These relationships are essential for creating the accurate and meaningful visualizations by allowing the data from multiple tables to be combined seamlessly in a report. How can you create a custom visualization in Power BI? Custom visualizations in Power BI can be created using the Power BI developer tools or by importing the custom visuals from the marketplace. Developers can use HTML, CSS, JavaScript to build the interactive visuals that can extend the capabilities for Power BI. How can you handle duplicate data or rows in Power BI? Duplicate data or rows can be removed in Power BI using the Remove Duplicate feature in Power Query Editor. This helps ensure the data quality by eliminating redundant information before analysis. How do you share reports in Power BI? Reports in Power BI can be shared by publishing them to the Power BI service or by exporting them to various formats like PDF or PowerPoint. Users can also share reports by generating a shareable link or embedding them in websites. How does Power BI handle security for data access and sharing? Power BI provides multiple layers of security, including role-based access control, role-level security, and data encryption. Users can control the access to data by defining roles, permissions, and security settings at various levels of the data model. Explain the concept of drill through in Power BI. Drill through in Power BI allows users to navigate from a summary report to a detailed report by clicking on data points. It enables the users to view underlying data and detail information related to specific data points in a report. How can you create hierarchies in Power BI? Hierarchies can be created in Power BI by selecting multiple columns in a table that represent levels of a hierarchy. Then right-clicking on the columns and choosing Create Hierarchy to define the hierarchy structure. How can you import data into Power BI? Data can be imported into Power BI from various sources, such as Excel files, SQL databases, online services, etc. Using the Get Data feature, users can connect to different data sources and import the data into Power BI for analysis. How does Power BI facilitate data transformation? Power BI's Power Query tool allows users to connect to various data sources, performing data cleansing, transformations, and shaping the operations to prepare the data for analysis and visualization. Explain the concept of row-level security in Power BI. Row-level security in Power BI allows the users to restrict access to certain rows of database on user roles or criteria. It ensures that users only see the data they are authorized to access based on the defined security rules. What are the best practices for performance optimization in Power BI? Best practices for performance optimization in Power BI include minimizing the number of visuals on a report page, optimizing DAX calculations, reducing unnecessary data loading, and using query folding to push the data transformations to the data source. 
what's z order or z order in power bi and why would you use it z order determines the layering of visuals in a report you can adjust the order to control which visuals appear on top it is useful for controlling overlapping visuals or emphasizing specific elements what's the difference between self service bi and managed bi self service bi allows the end users to create their own reports and dashboards without the it involvement managed bi involves the it professionals in creating and managing the reports for the end users can you map geographic data into power bi reports yes power bi supports mapping using geographic data example latitude and longitude you can also create maps to visualize the location based insights thank you for giving your time and learning with me on my channel fixing knowledge stay tuned to see more learnings coming soon and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel have a nice day ahead bye bye